Hello and welcome to the Ecoholics Heart to Heart with Toppers. Our guest for today is the RBI Grade B DEPR Topper, Aditi Mangal. Welcome to the show, Aditi. We hope that you could let this little secrets out since you have emerged victorious. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Ecoholics team, to give me for giving me this opportunity. And yes, definitely, I like to share my experience. So, uh, to start with, every topper has this result checking story and the family reactions that follow. What has your story been like? Yeah, so uh, it's actually funny. So I, uh, you know, I didn't know the result has been announced. So one of my other friends who has also been selected called me. He had my roll number. So in a, in a very mellow voice, he called me and said, "Aditi, the result is out, and your roll number is there." I was like, it is there or it is not there. He was like, no, no, it is there. I checked, but you also checked. So, like, I checked and I was in shock. And then I told my mom, and it didn't really sink in it initially. And then my father had tears in his eyes, and then it started coming onto me that this has already happened. Like after long, this is this day has come. So yeah, it was uh, this emotional roller coaster ride that day, and it just started coming in a lot of phone phone calls. So yeah, has it sunk in yet? I think it is starting to sink in. I think, uh, I think the whole the feeling, the exact feeling, would come when the joining comes in. So yes, definitely, definitely. So uh, it would be nice if we can start with a brief uh, background about yourself, so that aspirants can relate to your story. Right. So uh, I think I'll start with my uh, schooling. So uh, in eleven, twelfth, I didn't have economics. So I I had science with biology. But uh, uh, like I realized in in my eleventh and twelfth that you know I don't really want to follow biology. It was just out of interest. I took in and tenth. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I just explored what options, other options I can have, and uh, you know I was inclined towards mathematics. Then there were these two three options: either mathematics or economics or statistics. Economics had a great scope, and hence I went on with it. And it has really worked well for me. I I joined Metri College in Delhi University. Didn't get North Campus, but uh, Metri College was also good. The faculty was really good, helpful. Uh, went on to I really liked the three year course. I went on to preparing for masters. Thankfully, got into Delhi School of Economics. That also shaped a lot of things in life. And uh, later on, uh, I uh, for some uh, financial inter independence reasons, I joined a job. Although I Wanted to pursue the exams, but I had to. Then after one one and a half year, I left my job and pursued this preparation. So my only message is: you can change your way, you can change your path at any point in life. It's not, it's never impossible. I think this itself is a roller coaster ride from biology to yeah. It was a complete change, but I really loved the subject and. The subject got me so much that you know I went on to pursuing masters, which I didn't plan earlier. So yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Now, uh, was it your first attempt? Ah uh, no, so uh, one attempt. Actually, it was my third, but uh, a religious attempt was uh, it was my second attempt. First attempt was a casual attempt when what I gave for the job. So yeah. Testing the waters, kind. Uh, testing the waters and BPR exam had been like a like a black box. They you do not have much past years and stuff. So mm. yes, more like testing waters. Yes. Now, uh, again, so the next question would be the motivation behind getting into RBI. Ah, uh, so I think the early motivation which came in was when I was in Delhi School of Economics. There was one lecture which Mr. Vera Lachare took. Uh, it was about monetary policy transmission. So that is something which made me realize the importance of RBI. Till then, we used to read it, the the importance of central banking theory, more or less. But that was something when it became too real for me that you know this is an organization which is one of the important keystones in our economy, and I really want to be a part of it. So that is when it hit me. Okay, that's nice of you. Like, uh, how did you start off with your preparation? Like, uh, I am very already interested in your journey because it has a great transition, and then, uh, like, uh, understanding about the important parts becomes difficult if you have not had this subject in your uh, graduation or uh, like up eleventh and twelfth specifically. 
so how did you identify the topics how did you prioritize the topics syllabus so, uh, i think one of the one of the most important things which helped me in the preparation early on was that i had good basics which i developed in my graduation and my post graduation but uh, from basics to taking that leap in a competitive exam because you need a competitive edge i think one of the most important things is practice because this uh, especially phase 1 because a high score in phase 1 actually defines the whole journey so i think uh, a lot of practice of these entrance examinations so ma entrance examination offer you a lot of practice questions so that is something which really helped me initially and uh, so from topics also i recognize a lot of topics from there as well because uh, a similar set of questions are asked in dpr so yes so after uh, dsc how much time did you take to complete the dpr syllabus once uh so i guess uh, i think it was uh, since uh, my my actual first attempt the realistic attempt was i had just left my job and it was just within a one month or two so mm-hmm. uh, that time i was not prepared but the second time it came around i think it i you can say it's complete one year mm-hmm. and maybe more than that okay now uh, coming to the syllabus since you have al- already mentioned that the syllabus uh, many students find it very vague the way rbi has defined its D- dpr syllabus so how did you uh, identify the topics how did you go about the sources the books you referred uh, so i think a lot of help uh, uh, a lot of things which helped me was that i was also preparing for ies so uh, syllabus got also got defined from there especially for phase 2 and for phase 1 since it's an mcq pattern like i mentioned earlier entrance exams of masters really help with the syllabus thing and uh, the for the books i think uh, for practice i used sc gupta uh, for statistics and econometrics part mm-hmm. other than that uh, i used my basic grad books as well varian and uh, to clear up the basic concepts because a lot of numericals use basics so more or less these books only okay so uh, can we go a little deeper into the sources for uh, yes. micro macro econometrics and statistics right so for statistics it was sc gupta for me for econometrics it was gujarati uh, purely gujarati nothing else uh, then for uh, micro economics i used my graduation books the mostly varian and uh, for macro economics it was again my delhi university readings plus some chapters of toyer Which I refer. So, uh, do you prefer reading books cover to cover, cover, or did you just skim the uh, parts you needed? Uh, actually, totally depends. So, for top some topics, I really went into depth because they might they were new, or sometimes they were those topics which you tend to le- leave uh, sometimes in your graduation or post graduation, but you cannot leave there. Uh, other topics which I already had a good grasp, I. Uh, I skim through, so it's more of a smart work. Like wherever you need, you have to identify that. And uh, like, uh, how did you prioritize the topics that these? Since many, not many past year papers are available, the priority. How did you prioritize the topics that these are more important than others? I think uh, some of uh, some of the memory based topics are available. which mm-hmm. one, uh, which any student can refer to so they do identify a lot of topics which really helps other than that since i had given the dpr exam twice earlier like i said earlier i was testing what was in that one genuine attempt so that also helped me to identify which topics are being asked more mm-hmm. okay so that was majorly how i identified uh okay now we can move to the strategies for phase 1 okay so can you tell us about the paper attempting strategy that is dreaded by the aspirants for paper 1 uh so one. i yeah so i think a lot of people do the higher marking questions earlier but uh, not to me i generally go serial wise but mm-hmm. i insist on that that i do not get stuck on a question like a for really long because that really consumes your time sometimes mm-hmm. in dpr exam the question is twisted in a way that you are not able to reach to the answer mm-hmm. so uh, what i do is i go serial wise but then uh, i allocate time accordingly 
like i kept a lot of time for the three and four marker section because that they are long and once you do them you have a much more benefit out of them so mm-hmm. uh, that way i divide like a lesser time for the one markers slightly more time for two markers and much more time for three markers and i ensure that i'm left with at least 20 30 minutes so that i can once again go through the questions which i have left in 50 50 or which i have left that i'll attempt it later so mm-hmm. that i do not panic it at the end that I, that i am left with a lot of it okay that sounds a pretty sorted strategy now coming to phase 2 uh, i think the selecting the questions become of utmost importance so how did you have a strategy before entering the examination hall uh i would say that because uh, i think uh, my preparation for indian economy as well as the economic status part was at par so i just the thing i had in mind that i'll go through the question paper once and i'll pick up those questions which i know best which i can write out in a very structural manner i can give out clear points so uh, i went through the paper i realized that these are i realized the four questions i knew very well so i can write them very in a good clear way i attempted them first and then out of the rest which were left i picked out what was the best for me which i could answer give it give out some data uh, give out some concrete points so that even if i am answering it in a partial way i'm presenting a good answer okay uh so also uh, the revision strategy i think in competitive examinations uh, become very important so aditi one day before the exam what does she do i think aditi does data because i i'm i'm slightly slow in recalling data points so i tend to forget them so last day i generally maintain a data sheet which i have like uh, gdp points and inflation points repo rates etc so on the very last day i do that data sheet so that i can put on some brownie points in my answer okay uh, and how was your interview experience then uh, i think interview experience was a mixed one i didn't have i the interview didn't well as uh, didn't go as well as i expected uh, and yeah matlab i was kind of disappointed from my interview but uh, thankfully i had good score in phase 1 and phase 2 which saved me through the exam okay so uh and how did you prepare for the interview uh so for interview i uh, majorly current affairs is one of the major portion in the interview so uh, you you keep in uh, you keep tab on the recent events which are happening especially related to economics and you have to think like an economist like you just don't need to know that this has happened you just need to know why this has happened and how it will impact the economy what could be done because uh, it's a very probable question that that could be asked is uh, what advice you could give to rbi governor or a government person so i think that is very important that not only you are updated with the indian economy but what and how of it apart from that you should uh, i did prepare for the static part as in micro and international because not only it is related to indian economy in general but the current happenings are very much intertwined so uh, st- some static portion is also as well and of course your bio okay uh, now since uh, i think mental health is the elephant in the room who no one talks about since it has been uh, a long journey for you were there the highs and low points in your journey and how did you deal with them i think there were a lot of highs and lows uh initially when i started the journey i was very energetic i used to study at uh, like 8 10 hours i i could study but after some point the 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 demotivation started to set in the exhaustion started to set in but i think my family and friends really helped me in that phase they they kept motivating me and uh, i used to maintain that board i used to uh, you know scribble something and do moti- uh, write some slogan or do some anything which can motivate me just looking at it so that is something and i do uh, this uh, charcoal sketching so i used to express my frustration through it so that is how it went on but your yeah, family and friends support have been my major rooting uh, point okay that's uh, i think Uh, like uh, can we ask about how was your experience with ecoholics uh yes so i think ecoholics i am really grateful to ecoholics team they have always put in a lot of effort 
throughout this preparation journey for from guidance to putting in effort for a good panel for the interview mocks and i also took uh, economics uh, this indian economic survey so uh, test series which helped me in uh, my phase 2 rbi as well so uh, it has been great they have the team has been very helpful and i'm grateful to them for their support and guidance throughout this preparation phase and even after just like to add that even after interview when i was really down that you know my interview has not gone as per my expectation the ecoholic team really pulled me out of it that you know that you have to get up you have to do this and yeah so i'm, I'm really thankful for that team okay so thanks a lot aditi for being a part of our family we hope that students do benefit a lot from your insights and reach I, rbi as officers in the upcoming batches to thank you <laughs> I really hope so. I would like to see so many people as much as this. Okay, so thank you so much for taking out time in these times of celebration. We wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you.